Oh, wait, what the crap? What the heck is this? The baby says, I want the milk. <laughs> the baby says, I want the milk. What the heck? The kitty says, Hello everybody and welcome back to Never Song. My name is of course Constantine and we have returned back to hopefully save our friend now. Although I have a feeling we are gonna have to work much more in order to get this going. So, uh, in the previous episode we managed to beat the boss. Uh, next up we do need to make our way all the way back home uh, in order to uncover the next song. Now let's see, let's take care of these beasts right here. God dang it. I really hate these creatures. There we go, we got it. Alright, let's keep on uh, grabbing as many things as we can here. Oh, look at this. This guy's back. Wanna hear my super secret again? Uh, actually, nobody. I've already uh, done this secret. Now, the question is, how am I supposed to grab on this? Oh, we can. Hold up, I do want to grab these stars, so let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. And also, what I want to do is use this super secret that he's telling me about and destroy this. There we go. Now, hopefully, we can use this bomb in order to access that space right there. Let's see. What is that place going to hide for us? All right, there we go. The wall is off. Oh, booty bun secret home. What the heck? Are you serious right now? This is a freaking secret location, but apparently in order to open this up, we may need to open up the uh, wall somehow. I wonder, can I bump? Yep, we can definitely bump that. Can I definitely do go there to radio? It doesn't like we can. Uh, let's play the TV here. Looks like the booty bomb gang's fort. Examine. Pizza rolls, soda, TV. <laughs> Punky and his gang really know how to party. <laughs> What's up with this music though? Yikes. Lyrics? Hmm, uh, let me listen. Why did you leave me for him? He's such a prick. I hate his guts. I hate you. Man, <laughs> this is high quality music. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so apparently nothing much we can do here. Probably we may need to uncover some new techniques or something in order to do this. So, uh, let's just uh, carry on then. Let's see. Let's keep going to the left side. I'm, I am gonna make my way all the way back home. Just... Oh, wait. What? Is this ringing again? Okay, so we've already listened to that, so I'm not quite sure what to think about it. Uh, hold up, let's try to take this guy out. There we go. Next up, I don't see anything else we gotta do here. Uh, now, how the heck am I gonna get back though? Because we cannot really jump this, right? Oh! Wait, what? I had no idea I could fall down here. Watch out for Punky. <laughs> That's me, Punky. Hi, Punky. Simeon said I should go and find him some help, but I'm too busy dancing. You like my dance moves? Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah. It's my birthday. I'm so proud of myself for turning another age. I'm finally old enough to start learning how to math and how to science. <laughs> really? Nah. Wanna hear the real reason I'm dancing? Sure. Well, a sneaky spider came up and whispered in my ear. Wanna know what he said? Yes. He said, Dr. Smile's gonna eat your thighs. <laughs> Did you oh, hear that? Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's insane. Now, the thing is, we are dressed just like him because we got no shirt on. And I think we did that just by getting his cards, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, I wish I could fall on top of this building on the right side, though. The slug was here. I mean, I could try to do that, so let's just see. What's going to happen if I do that? Uh, what's going to happen if I try to do this over here? And I try to fall to the right side, just like that. Look at that. So we can definitely activate this, but again, I am not sure what this is doing. But we can now grab ourselves another card. Look at this. Are you serious? So this one is gonna give us what? Equipped to wear a bow. Gumboya's sister, or is it? Yeah, let's go with that. 
<laughs> no way, we got a bow. Oh my god, I'm not gonna go with that. Sorry about that, guys. I definitely want to go with something else here. Um, I can't go with the glasses. I really love the look of the glasses. All right, what is this? An orange binder with a sticky note on it. Read the sticky note. Dear Skunky, it's Preston. Here's your summer reading essay. Please don't beat me up. <laughs> uh, read the binder. Summer reading essay by Skunky. The Great Gatsby was a fun little book about a kitty named Gatsby. His best friend, Punchpaw, and Mew, Mew Mouth like to call him the Great Gatsby. One day, the Great Gatsby got a letter in the mail informing him that he, yes, he, was actually a wizard. The Great Gatsby rode on a broom with a big hairy guy to Kitty Cat School of Catscrat and Wizardry. Gatsby, such a famous cat, quite the kitty. So many magical spells were sprayed from his whiskers, so frisky and punchy and glittery. The moral of the story is keep your cats away from the mailboxes. Otherwise, they will get letters in the mail and turn you into a witch and you will not enjoy it. <laughs> also, Mr. Richardson, I skip class in the downstairs bathroom on Mondays and Thursdays. Alright, um, I don't know what that was all about, but anyway, uh, let's keep going then. So, uh, can we keep on talking with this guy? I think I'm gonna get a tattoo for my of birthday. what? On my butt. <laughs> what? Not where? Oh, I'm gonna get a tattoo of my butt <laughs> on my butt. Cool. All right, buddy, you do that. You do you. Now I do have. Oh my god! I didn't even manage to see this guy. What the heck? All right, let's get these guys. I can get rolling just like that. And next up, I wonder, can I keep on climbing here and using the uh, techniques that we learned? Can I grab that secret crate from all the way to the right side? God dang it, that didn't work. So let's see, let's do this again. Alright, buddy. There we go. And hopefully, once we jump here, we're gonna be just good. What? God dang it, that was such a high jump, but unfortunately not enough. You know what, let's just go all the way back home, because I do have a feeling that we may need another ability or s something. Crap. Another set of enemies, though. Yeah, we are gonna have to take care of these guys. God dang it. They're really destructive, though. There you go, buddy. <laughs> the sound that thing makes when it's uh trying to attack us. Come on, I cannot get it. Hmm. How the heck am I gonna get to this guy? Are you freaking kidding me right now? You know what? Hold up, I have a feeling I know what I gotta do. Maybe I do need to make a big jump over here. Wow. Hold up, we gotta take care of it somehow. Maybe he's gonna come right next to me right here. And I'm gonna be able to hit it. These things are gonna kill me if I don't pay attention though. There we go, so we got him once. Get him again. There we go. And lastly, one more time. There we go. Freaking Christ. Alright, so we got the doors open. Man, this was not easy, I gotta tell you. Now, let's see. I, I know that we have already grabbed this. So what is this all about? Hmm. Didn't I already got that? Try this again. God dang it, that's not gonna work. Anyway, let's keep on going. I do want to make my way all the way back home. 
Now, again, I'm not going to go in the sewers. We don't really need to do that. I think we've gotten everything we needed from the sewers. Uh, let's take care of this guy. Hopefully, it's going to give me some health. Yep, there we go. Yeah, buddy. Oh, wait, what the crap? What the heck is this? This is one of the parents. What? Holy crap. Look at his freaking head. <laughs> we can punch it. Are you kidding me? Wow. Yikes. First the storm rolling in, and now crazy grown-ups? What's next? Yeah, I got no I, I got no clue, but that is freaky. Let's save up the game before we continue. Because we did make quite a lot of progress. I'm really loving it. Now let's see. Oh wait, what? What the heck has happened here? It's locked from the inside. I mean, it's saying that it's locked from the inside, but apparently... Something happened. Somebody broke down the door. Oh, hold up. The entire village looks... Destroyed. Again, this one it says that it's locked from the inside, but everything is destroyed. Uh, let's try to go inside the barbershop. Hmm. Apparently this guy is not hitting more. Somebody knocked over the jukebox. The jukebox is playing an old tune. What? No, it's not. It's not playing anything anymore because everything has been destroyed. What the heck is happening here? Ah, oh, crap. Hold up, we gotta go ahead and take care of this freaking grown-up all the way over here. Come here, buddy. No, god dang it. There we go, we got him. Perfect. He also gave us a health back. Where is everybody? I don't know, that's exactly what I'm asking. Now, hold up, before we do anything, let's just grab all this. Um, the thing is... What the heck has happened here, though? Let's just go inside the house. Alright, so we are back. Um, nothing all the way over here. But, I'm definitely gonna go in... And use the, uh, piano again. Let's see what this is gonna do. So before we use it, let's see, the song is this one, Neverwood Prelude. So it's going to be B-B-D-E-A, B-B-D-E-A. So it's B-B-D-E-N-A. Ooh, there we go. So another door has just opened up all the way over here with, of course, another chest. Slugboard. Ren's nickname, the slug, is hand-painted on the bottom. Skate on hard surfaces. What? Oh no, freaking way, look at this! <laughs> Are you serious right now? This is awesome! <laughs> Man, I'm loving this. And look at the speed we got. That is crazy. Alright, so apparently we got ourselves a board. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with it, but um, I think I actually know, never mind. I think I actually need to use the board on this side. Alright, and if you activate this board, oh my god, look at her. This freaking ghost again. God dang it. Alright, let's keep going. I'm pretty sure we gotta use this. And jump. There we go, buddy. That was awesome. <laughs> Alright, now... Oh, you know what? We gotta activate all these things in order to pass. I get it. Oh, you know what? We gotta do it in a time, in a proper timing. I get it. I get it. So, if you try this again... There we go. We got it. Alright. This wasn't that difficult, that was just overcomplicated things, I guess. Uh, so let's see, first of all, Buriba Marsh. <laughs> let's just uh, save up the game here first. And let's see, Booty Power Co. Come on, dude. You know you can get me. 
There we go. Can I get that thing all the way up there? I mean, maybe I can, but I may need to do a little bit of skating here. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. So, if I get on top of that... Crap, that didn't work. Man, skating is a little bit complicated. It's not that easy as I thought. Alright, and if I use this, nothing really important here. But at least we got those points. Let's just go inside the Booty, booty Power Co. Huh, who's this guy? My daddy Skunky. Coming for him. Oh, um... <laughs> Dude, yikes! Oh, I'm just messing. I captured him because he tried to rip off my shoulder blades. Dead serious, brah, brah, brah. <laughs> Alright, Skunky. Acted like a crazy zombie. But can I be honest? I feel so much relief knowing he's tied up. To tell you the truth, I feel so much relief as well because look at him. Freaking adults trying to kill us. Either he's lost his mind, or he's a straight up zombie. I don't know. Of course you don't know. You're like 10 months younger than me. I'm older and got wisdom and peach fuzz. <laughs> anyway, right. now that he's out of my hair, I can finally breathe. How so? My pops ran the coal power all day. Made my granny cough all day. She won't stop whining. Wants me to turn it back on so I can make her cough. What am I supposed to do with that? Can you? Can I turn on the power? Um, yeah. I'm oldest, so my dad left the coal business to me. Awesome. I didn't say I would. I said I can. Dumb dumb. I'm sick of my ugly fat granny coughing. Huh. Nothing will make me turn on the power. Please. Nothing on God's green earth will convince me to turn on the power. Although, I could really go for some sugar blasters candies. Alright, so maybe if we bring him some sugar blaster candies, he will turn on the power for us? A TV playing Skunky's favorite show. Hmm. Alright, so apparently, uh, we need to bring this guy some candy. I have a feeling this guy's parents or grandmother is gonna be the uh, next boss that we're gonna have to fight here. Oh god. So I'm guessing this is the grandma? What's the matter? Something stuck in my Something throat. Stuck in my throat. Help. Help me. Help me cough. Oh, uh, okay, got your tongue? Yes, I can, I can barely just I'll do anything. Okay, buddy. Now, how, what am I supposed to do, though? The smoke from the power plant might make me sneeze. Ah, I get it, I get it. So we are gonna have to go to the power plant and turn on the, um, the smoke, I guess. Let's see, let's take this guy out first. Oh crap, seriously, buddy? There we go, we got it. Alright, so, next up. Um, oh, what is this? This is one of those blue diamonds. Hey, Preston. I've been looking all over for you. Have you? Come up here. I gotta tell you something. I, I need to whisper it, though, because, frankly, <laughs> I'm ashamed. All right, buddy. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. What? What the heck this just happened here? Oh, my God. Hold up, hold up. Got to get this guy. Ah, oh, dang it. He got me. There we go. Got myself back. Let's get this guy as well. Dang it. Alright, so we definitely have to turn on all these uh, blue lights. Alright, there we go. And actually, I need to kill another one. What the heck? I think I need to hit him one last time. Fortunately, he keeps dodging. Come here, buddy. God dang it. <laughs> oh my god, he's being a pain. There we go, we got him. 
All right, uh, next up, we are going to have to blow this thing up using a bomb. But let's just go ahead and find the bomb first. Because I have a feeling we are going to have to use the skate in order to turn those things on. All right, around here as well. We are going to have to climb up somehow. Not sure how this is going to work, though. Yeah, I'm not sure what, how this is going to work. Ah, crap, I missed. I could have pressed this one as well and opened that up if I was a little bit faster, but let's just try it again. Okay, there we go, there we go, come on, come on, come on. There we go, we got them all! Perfect! Alright, next up. Next up, let's just jump on this one. And let's see how far we can get. Um, hmm, we are gonna need an umbrella or something in order to get high up there, yeah, that's for sure. Hold up, what is that painting in the... Oh, that is interesting. But it looks like we need a new ability in order to keep on progressing here. So, what I'm gonna do next is just grab this bomb over here. And push it to the right side. We gotta get this one all the way to these blocks. Right over there. Perfect. I have a feeling we are gonna need more though. This is definitely not gonna be enough. Or... Nope. Never mind. We do need one more. Do -do -do. So let's just go ahead and do that. Nobody. Go the other way. Alright, and we should be good. Now, if I let that blow... Let's activate this. This one. There we go. We got them all. Perfect. Now, I'm curious. Is this gonna close it down? No. Huh. Alright, in that way, in that case, let's keep on going. Let's get a bit more speed here so that we can do this again. There we go, buddy. I mean, do we even need this in order to get this high up? Yeah, you know what? I think we do. Yeah, we definitely do. There's definitely no other way in order to get back up there. So, of course, we are gonna have to be really fast here. So, let's just try this one more time. Alright, buddy. Ah, oh, crap. I messed up. I wonder, do I even have to jump, or do I have to just let it do its thing? Hmm. Let's just try and let it do its thing and see if it, that's gonna work instead. There we go, so we don't have to press anything. Crap, that was close. Alright. It's definitely gonna take quite a few tries here before you get this. This is not gonna be easy. There we go, buddy. All right, and we got it. Hi. So, listen. I don't know if I can say it, but it's not my fault. I just got scared, that's all. What? Oh, here goes nothing. <laughs> I've been stealing Sugar Blasters candies from the barber shop all summer. Skunky said he'd slaughter my face if I didn't. <laughs> Maybe I can get some from him, though. I'm certainly ashamed. But in the end, my guilt can actually help you. You see, Skunky will do almost anything for Sugar Blasters. Even turn on the power. Cool. Unfortunately, I had to hide them from my parents last week, buried them. Ah, crap, so we are gonna fresh. have to find them. But that's all I'm saying. I don't wanna go to jail for being the dreadful <laughs> villain I am. Alright, buddy, so where the heck did you bury them, though? Oh, hold up. We are on a new location here. That is awesome. Definitely need to take care of these guys. Fast. Dang it. Alright, there we go. We got him. One of them is dead, which is great. Let's take this one out as well. What the heck? Oh, we opened them up. Alright, I thought we had to kill them all though. Apparently that is not the case. Just grab all the points because soon enough we are gonna get ourselves another extra heart, which is great. There we go, and we still need two more stars in order to get extra heart. Now I don't know how to interact with these things floating above me though. 
Yeah, I don't know what to do about them. Anyway, let's keep going. We're definitely gonna have to take care of them later on, maybe. Ooh, okay, so another one of these puzzles. Let's try to get it. Can I destroy this stuff? Yes, we can. Alright, now that is done. Come here, you. Give me points. I need another heart. There we go. We got ourselves another extra heart. Perfect. Alright, some more points. Now, I wonder, where are these platforms gonna take me to? Let's see. If I jump here... That is good. This one is good. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't want to do that. Let's keep pushing this one, then. I have a feeling we gotta get this one right over here. Yeah. That is definitely gonna work. Alright, there we go. We got him. Uh, next up, we are gonna have to access both all three of these switches. So let's see. Are we gonna be fast enough? I don't even know. Hopefully. <laughs> no, we gotta get ourselves on speed. That is pathetic. So maybe if I go all the way up here, maybe I'm gonna be fast enough? There we go, we got it. Alright, and next up we gotta chat with this buddy. Watch out for Punky. That's me. Punky. Hey Punky. It's my birthday. Did you see what Skunky got me? It's a speak and say. Speak and say? What the heck is that? I speak and say. It's those cool toys you pull the lever and it makes animal sounds. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'll let you play with it if you want. Just promise me you won't, won't break, break it. it. It's All right. so, so cool. I even train my pets at the water tower to respond to certain sounds. They seem to like the sound of a kitty. Oh, yeah, I get it. it my brother Skunky got it for me. Well, I mean, uh, that's his new name. What you mean? Skunky's name wasn't always Skunky. Everyone in Redwind Park is so confused, especially the post office. <laughs> they keep calling him Colin. Yeah? Yeah, it honestly pisses me off. I was the one to change my name first. Now everyone calls me Skunky. No, I'm Punky. <laughs> Alright, buddy, got it. What ifs? At least I got my speak and say. Please, please, please. If you play with it, do not break it. Alright, I won't. Alright, look at that. We just got ourselves a new device. Um, grab it. You can whack the handle and it will say animal sounds. <laughs> nice. Alright, I say grab it. Alright, so if I take this all the way to the right side to that water tower, am I gonna be able to take that? Am I gonna be able to interact with it somehow? Let's see, what can we do here? So, if I put this one right over here... The cow says... No, we need the cat says. The fingers say... No, not the fingers. The cat. <laughs> the good boy says... <laughs> the chump says... The gun says... The gun says... Oh my god, that's creepy. The baby says... I want the milk. <laughs> the baby says I want the milk. What the heck? The kitty says... Ah, oh, there we go. That worked. Alright, so now we create ourselves a platform. That we can climb on... Ah, oh, crap. Freaking controller, man. My controller keeps messing up here. Keep dragging it on the left side. And this is making me fall every single time. Look at that. Are you freaking kidding me right now? There we go, buddy. Oh, this speak and say is getting heavy. I'm dropping okay. it. Okay. We definitely don't need it, hopefully. Aw, oh, crap. He broke it. Crap. That is not good. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. What the heck? No way. And look at this. The key that we needed. Is that the booty bunk key? key? Grab it. This should open the booty bunk clubhouse in Red Wind Village. Gotcha. Now, I wish I could save her somehow, but... Oh my god, what the heck? There 
He sat, that doctor smile, face down in a pool of bile. Dr. Smile looked up and gazed at Pete's white and trembling face. Come closer to my teeth, little Pete. Your friends won't miss you. Crap. So, nothing really happened. I mean, he just got away. What the heck, dude? How am I supposed to get rid of this guy? Now, the problem is, I don't really see the device anymore because we definitely broke it. Crap. Alright, uh, I think we're gonna have to make our way all the way back home. Now that we got the golden key, hopefully we are gonna be able to open up the, um, the door. Yeah, sorry mate, I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna have to go back home and, and open up the door. See what uh, what that house is hiding from us. Uh, let's also save up the game real fast right here. Let's keep going home. Man, that freaking missed a smile. So freaking creepy. That's for sure. Alright, let's keep going. I have a feeling that we are gonna be able to find maybe an umbrella in this house that we're trying to open here. So first of all, we are gonna have to jump to the other side. Oh, what the heck? The other is back. We gotta kill him again. But why? Why did it keep spawning in? Anyway, I guess I'm gonna have to take him out. There we go, buddy. All right, and now, do a big jump. And open it. Look at that, it worked. Oh, the Booty Bomb Clubhouse. No way. Booty Bomb. Can we also break down these things? Yes, we can. Uh, what about this table? A diary. The cursive handwriting is pristine. August 5th, 1965. Dearest Diary, I'm feeling downcast today. I watched her as she talked to that silly orphan boy, her hair sweeping through the wind like shampoo-scented waves of grass. Ren is so creative, so brave, so everything. The purest form of beauty, unmatched, a goddess of smooth, sun-freckled shoulders. Oh, you know what? I think that the reason Simeon was acting like this with us is because he was jealous of us. I'm in awe of her. So often do I wish that I could say it proudly, out loud. Why, oh words, aren't you so broken? A bully's mouth with no hesitation. In other news, Colin suddenly decided his name should be Skunky. I prefer his full name, Colin James Coy. But whatever, if the shoe fits. Introspectively and affectionately, Simeon, August 6th, 1965. Dearest Diary, my sunshine, my dancing princess of feminine mystery is still missing. Ren, where art thou? If your stupid piss mouth boyfriend wasn't such a coward, maybe he could have protected you. But neither would I. Neither would I. A trivial poem is all I have for you, my love. My mare, my garden flower in despair. Ren, a galaxy afar by Simeon Richardson. <laughs> Ren. A galaxy afar, a glinting pink and fading star. Me, a lifeless planet bare. Impossible, I'd like to travel there. Who can hold her blinding light? My precious queen of golden might. To peek and see her blinding glare, a pointless rock would never dare. Ren, a galaxy afar, a smiling, laughing, friendly mare. Me. A lifeless planet. Scared. Impossible. I'll never travel there. Introspectively. And affectionately. Simeon. Man, I'm loving this. The writing is so good. August 7th, 1965. I snuck into Ren's house today to see if maybe she'd returned. Pete was still asleep as usual in his stupid cot. But my beautiful Ren was nowhere to be found. I now know my task. I... Her knight in shining armor shall save her and protect her. 
in spite of my phobia, I shall enter the Spiderian sewer. Introspectively and affectionately, Simeon, <laughs> I now know my task. I, her knight in shining armor, shall save her and protect her. In spite of my phobia, I shall enter the Spiderian sewer. Introspectively and affectionately, Simeon. <laughs> All right, and that's about it. Other than this, we are the one that um, got him unstuck. Now, let's see. What is... No, not this. I don't want... Oh, crap, close. I want to check this out. Siemens Fedora. Can I grab it? Oh, man, I wish I could. Uh, hold up. Can I make it all the way up here? Because apparently there is somebody here. Oh. Let's have a chat with this guy. We cannot. Somebody's sleeping there, but I don't know who that is. A lot of... People are sleeping here, though, and we cannot interact with any. Oh, look at this. Now we can unlock the door from this side, or maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Who is this? Hello. Welcome Soiler. to Dirty Bomb's super secret post office. First name, please. Pete. Last name, please. Oh, wait. There's only one Pete. Let me see here. Hmm. <laughs> I've got nothing for you, man. Not with that name, anyway. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Have you considered <coughs> looking around the club? Maybe your name is something else. Oh, maybe my name is something else? <coughs> what do you mean? Twerp, poopy, stupid, brown fart. I've got nothing for you, man. Unless you have another name. If I do. First name, please. The only mail I've got is for a Colin, a Milton, and a Perry. Uh, let's go with Colin. Oh, wow. There's three different people in this town with that first name. Middle name, please. Uh, James. What? There's three different people in this town with that first and middle name. Last name. Koi. Please. Oh, yeah. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Koi. Looks like you've got a message from Preston. There we go. Let's read it. Interesting. Preston Peppercorn, 20 Red Wink Park. Skunky, your sugar bar blasters are hidden between the three waterfalls. A bomb could help. Preston, P.S. I'll be hiding them here every Monday. Just please stop beating me up. <laughs> Alright, so apparently we just found out where the, um, where the, Hello, Mr. Coy. Are you where the candy is gonna be. Again? Uh, you read that letter again? Uh, no, we're good. Alright, so I'm guessing we are completely done with this, right? We don't really need to, uh, get any more mail from her. So all we gotta do next is just go and find the three waterfalls, I guess. So that we can find the hidden, um... Nope, I wanna go down. So that we can find the hidden candy. Alright, well, you know what, guys? I think uh, we are gonna have to end up the episode right here for now. Now that we got the information about the candy and we know exactly where it is, all we gotta do next is just, uh, find the... is just find the three waterfalls, I guess. Anyway, as usual, thank you all very much for watching another episode of Never Song. I really hope you enjoyed this. Of and of course, if you did, a like would be much appreciated, as that would help me quite a lot. And if, and if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, please consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy. Alright, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!